Welcome back. So lately I've been trying to design products with artificial intelligence and the results haven't been very good. The images all come out sort of interesting, but as products, they wouldn't be easy to use. They don't really have a modern aesthetic and they would be pretty much impossible to manufacture. But being the stubborn person that I am, through a lot of trial and error and a lot of YouTubing, I have finally found a way to consistently get mid-journey to create high quality product designs most of the time. So today I'm gonna to show you how to use the text to image generator mid journey to create high quality product designs. And the best part is it's super easy. If you don't know, Midjourney is an artificial intelligence tool that generates images from text prompts and other images. To start using it, you need to create an account on Discord and then connect through the Midjourney website. If you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to sign up, I'll leave a link in the description below. One pro tip, instead of using the newbie channel to generate images with everyone else, which is super hectic, you can invite the Midjourney bot to your own server and then you can design in your own space without being bombarded by everyone else. B -b -b pro tip. So as you can see, I'm my own server. I invited the mid journey bot and we can start designing some products. The first thing I recommend playing around with is the imagine tool and the text to image generator. This is the easiest way to get started and is a super fast way to generate some ideas. Let's try designing a security camera. So to do this, we just type in slash imagine and then give it a prompt. So a security camera. And voila, you have some images of security cameras. These are definitely really good images of cameras, but if you want to design new products, you have to give Midjourney a bit more context so it can come up with something new. So let's add some details, some adjectives, some materials, and some context. So we'll type in slash imagine a designer security camera, premium materials, and then maybe in tier design. As you can see, we're starting to generate some ideas of products that don't actually exist yet, which is really cool and great for product design. And with that, you can just start playing around with different adjectives and changing things around and seeing what comes out. So let's try a modular home security camera made of high quality materials with Japanese interior design. And with that, we get some other ideas. The only limit here is to your imagination. Wow, cool. If you wanna increase the realness and image quality of your generations, there are a couple of generic words that you can throw in at the end of basically every prompt to increase the quality. There's a lot of these prompt enhancers and this is a really deep topic, but here's a couple that I like to use uh, pretty much most of the time. So let's just copy that same prompt, say slash imagine, paste it in and we'll add in by contrast, hyper realistic, redshift, 4K. Nice, looks pretty realistic. If you want some more tips on how to create repeatable results with prompts, I found three really great resources that you can check out. One, the National University of Singapore has a great series of videos explaining their research on designing products with Midjourney. And their videos only have like 500 views, so definitely go check them out. Two, I found when you start creating some images, you can go to the Midjourney website and check out images that look kind of similar to the ones you created. Then you can explore the prompts used by other creators to create images. Three, there's also a ton of other videos explaining prompting on YouTube, especially if you want to have a specific art style or photography style. I'll put a link to one I like below. So we're going to move on to the next tool, which is the blend tool. When trying to generate product designs, I really felt like I could only go so far using the text prompting alone. In the case of the security camera, I just felt like Midjourney kind of had a couple of archetypes in mind that it kept referring to, like this globe thing or a box. It'll play around with the details and composition, but won't necessarily change the product design all that much. So that's why I like using the blend tool. This allows you to merge two or more images together to create one new image. I found that this really quickly creates high quality product designs and makes it very easy to control the design language. So to do this, we just type in slash blend, and then we drag in some images. Just make sure the images have similar camera angles and backgrounds. Wow, that's really cool. So as you can see, we can really quickly generate high quality product design images. It's really fun to play around with different images and see what comes out. Also, don't be afraid to open Photoshop to flip the image, remove the background, or play with the colors. You can also put in more images if you like, but I found just putting in two images keeps the results random enough while still being very controlled. So moving on to blending images with text. This is getting into the really advanced stuff, but it's still pretty easy. 
which is basically combining text prompting with the blend tool. This seems to work pretty well to create exactly what you're trying to while still being pretty low effort. To do this, we first have to pick out the images we want to combine and generate some links first. So it's pretty easy. You just drag and drop them into Midjourney, and then we just click on the images and open the browser, and it'll generate a link from that. Like before, we just type in slash imagine. Then we just paste in the links that we just created. Make sure you put spaces in between. Now we just give it a prompt. It doesn't really need to be that complicated since we gave it so much context and information from the images. We just gotta tell it what we want. So we'll type in a home security camera. What? So these are some pretty great concepts for cameras that would have taken an expert weeks to come up with. And as you can see, we're able to deviate from the mid journey archetype of a home security camera and create something new that was pretty much in line with what we were trying to do. Once I'm done screwing around, I like to go back and look through all the concepts I created and regenerate prompts that seem interesting, do variations on interesting concepts, and upscale all the concepts that I think are the most promising. And there you have it. With these simple tricks, you can start creating dope product designs without doing any real work. Who needs creativity when you got mid-journey, am I right? No, I'm just kidding. I think this is great because I think it frees you up to focus more on being creative rather than being stuck in generating images. I think it's also important to note that none of these designs would really work right away. They all have issues with proportions, details, usability, manufacturability, but I was able to find some cool design details that I thought were really interesting and I might not have come up with on my own. So that's it for today. I think in the future I might do a video on designing with AI and the whole product design process. So if that's something you want to see, let me know in the comments. Till then, stay wavy and uh, don't let the AI overlords take you out. Okay, thanks. Bye.